Hello, this is Pamela the Stampin' Pink Rose. And this is a Wow Wednesday. And my table wants to shift. Anyway, we are going to do a two-step process today. Uh, I'm going to show you how to get this card started. And then tomorrow I'm going to show you a completed picture of the card on my blog site. So we're using the Aqua Painter, and it comes in a package from Stampin' Up! like this. And it has two brushes. One is a fine tip, and then the other, the one we're using today, is a wider. And I have filled this with water. I have got some watercolor paper here that's four by five and a fourth. I grabbed my soft suede here for this. And I have also re-inked my soft suede with my re-inker so that it's good and inked up. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do a watercolor wash. So all I'm going to do is I am thoroughly, thoroughly saturating this. I don't know if you can tell, but it is really wet. Okay. Then I'm going to take this which we want ink in the lid. And I've got it right here. And see how it's already curling. And I'm going to take and I'm going to keep going across. And then this has to dry before you can do the next step. And when you do the next step, I'll show you tomorrow what was the outcome of it. And you'll see it. I will be stamping an image on. Here's what's going to be going on. And how dark you have it is what you want. Now, mine's just not coming through the way I want it. So I'm going to put a couple dabs of my re-anchor in my lid. And then I'm going to take. And I'm going to go back over this. And by the way, if it... Uh, you do this and you decide after it dries it's not dark enough you can go back and redo this okay so you can make it as dark as you want and I do want this a little darker so I'm putting a little more ink in there and I'm going to squirt a little less water on my brush now, do you see how it's darkening up? And I'm not squeezing my aqua painter right now at all. I am just strictly going back and forth and doing it like this. And just making sure I've got my edges because I want my edges covered. Okay. And don't worry if it's not even your colors. That adds your interest to what you're doing on your project. I just wanted to make sure my sides were kind of covered. Okay, now this is your aqua painter. It is wonderful to use. Um, I have aqua painted different stamping items before but I thought today would be kind of fun to do a color wash and then tomorrow show the card that I finished with it so we'll do it two steps so again this is Pamela Stamp and Pink Rose make sure you check out my blog site make sure if you haven't signed up for the 12 weeks of Christmas I know we're in the seventh because the seventh just went out a while ago on your Christmas ideas I'll be expanding it closer to Thanksgiving or a little bit afterwards with uh, some more non-card ideas. But and you'll be closer to getting some packaging done. So anyway, so do sign up for my newsletter because that's the only way you're going to get the 12 weeks of Christmas. And make sure you also keep checking my Facebook page and my Pinterest page where Stampin' Ideas are always in bloom at the Stampin' Pink Rose. Have a good day. I'll show you tomorrow the results of this beautiful card that I will have done. Take care. Thank you for joining me.